messages from Muslims. And no, they are not death threats or any kind of aggressive or insulting messages this time. Instead, they are trying to bring to my attention that the Big Bang Theory, as it is explained and accepted by a scientist today, was revealed in their holy book, the Quran, 1400 years ago before the theory even existed. And they argue this by bringing certain verses in the Quran which, interpreted correctly, they say, clearly describe the Big Bang cosmological model. I will insert them in the sidebar. Also, if you do a search on YouTube by the terms Quran and Big Bang, you will see what I mean, it's all over the place. Now, I'm not gonna argue and dissect them simply because, well, one, my arguments would just basically say, yo, look, them verses have nothing to do with the Big Bang. To which the responses would be, oh yeah, they do. And this can go on forever. And two, because you can read them for yourselves. I mean, the claim that these verses have any scientific merit to them is as ridiculous as putting a miniskirt on a sumo wrestler and calling it a ballerina. No, 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 no. He's just wrong. So instead I'm just gonna ask one question to the Muslims making this claim. And not just this claim, because... You see, while most Christian creationists try to negate science altogether, going... Evolution? Where? Big Bang? Never happened. But no, Muslims have a different approach. They go... It's all here in my book, man. See this verse here? This is what it really means. You got pawn, motherfucker. Allahu Akbar! So my question is this. If the Quran really predicted modern scientific theories, such as Big Bang and evolution, then why didn't you Muslims come up with those theories ages ago? If all those things were revealed in your holy book 1400 years ago, it means that you had 1400 years at your disposal to explain to us infidel fools how things really work. But you didn't, did you? It was only after the Big Bang Theory was worldwide accepted by the scientific community that you decided to claim, well, Allah said it first. And same goes with evolution. So, why? I'm just asking. You know, there's something really bugging me and it always annoyed me on some level, but it just seems to annoy me more and more is how religious sensitive we are. And especially when it comes to Islam. I'm sure you remember when Western Standard Magazine published those cartoons, those Muhammad cartoons, that all hell went loose. And the publisher of the magazine was interrogated by the Canadian Human Rights Committee because he disrespected this holy religion that doesn't even know the meaning of human rights. It's sadly ironic. And this wasn't an isolated case. The same thing happened to Maclean Magazine, I think it was, in 2008. Or the movie Fitna, which got banned. And the filmmaker was prosecuted and investigated and banned from entering the UK. All this while he was under constant death threats from Muslim extremists who were offended that he portrayed Islam as being violent. Again, the irony. And what annoys me even more is the converts. The people who weren't indoctrinated into this religion from childhood but grew up exposed to human rights values. For now to convert to Islam and come preach how wonderful and sciencey and peaceful it is. The religion of peace that punishes apostasy with death. Oh, how great it is to live in the Western society and get all religious sensitive and offended when a particular dogma is criticized. Do you know that one third of the world doesn't even have religious freedom? And it's not a coincidence that those countries are so populated they count for almost 70% of the world population. Let me say this again. 70% of the world population doesn't have religious freedom. You will have to look at the calendar and see what year it is and ask yourself, what the fuck? <laughs>